And new tonight, two Montanians with a love for different animals have made an everlasting connection in Whitehall. NBC Montana's Josh Margolis has more on the unlikely love story. There are lots of combinations that have been tried and true over generations, like peanut butter and jelly and hot dogs and baseball. But what about beekeeping and dog breeding and training? Well, here in Whitehall, one family has made that a lifestyle. Well, I met my husband and he loved to bird hunt. And so he taught me how to shoot a gun and he created a monster. She's a training machine, you know, she, she lo Mary loves to raise dogs and train them. It was that connection between Mary and Scott that led to the creation of a professional dog breeding and training outfit to the west of Whitehall. With a focus on the hunting breeds of purebred Labradors and German wire haired pointers. We decided to breed the kind of dog that we really liked and train them ourselves so that they were our kind of dog. And we bred a litter and kept a few, and people bought the other ones, and then people started hounding us to breed more. Currently, the Steinfelds' land is home to 21 dogs of their own, including six puppies, as well as seven dogs who are being trained for hunting or obedience, and another two who are boarded. They've been in business for over two decades, and the evidence of their hard work is on display across the continent. We have puppies all over the United States, Canada, you know, um, our, our dogs are very trainable and make great companion dogs and great hunting dogs. And although Mary and Scott share a passion for bird hunting, Scott's main profession deals with a certain type of buzzing insect, not a mammal. That bee's being born right now. It's chewing its way out of its capping. Behind me, there's hundreds of thousands of bees. And for someone with a moderate fear of being stung like me, uh, you might think I might be a little bit afraid going in, but actually, I found it incredibly peaceful. You can see we got a lot of bee action here, but for the most part, they're just flying around us. They're not banging off of us, looking to sting. Scott, who became a master beekeeper through the University of Montana after learning from his father, currently handles 80 hives across three sites on the Steinfeld's 40-acre property. He's had to gain an understanding through trial and error, but has now become an expert at his craft. My purpose is I want to raise good quality queens. So that's been kind of my passion as queen rearing and also to raise good quality bees and sell them. As for the hundreds of pounds of honey that's produced, it's sold to friends or those that reach out on the internet, but it runs out quick. So we target them to get 100 pounds in their, in their hives and then we can take the rest, but a beekeeper doesn't take honey until the bees have enough to survive the winter. It's obviously an unlikely duo of dog breeder and master beekeeper, but the Steinfelts say it works surprisingly well. We work together, we love working together. Um, so we share our chores during the day. I help her with her dogs and she helps me with the bees. Both are kind of like owning a dairy. I mean, you know, it keeps you here at home at the, and it's plenty of work to do, but it's so rewarding. Mary says she'd like to focus more on raising and selling litters instead of trading when they get older. While well, Scott wants to continue to expand the apiary to 100 hives or more and teach his craft across the region. It's just fun. We just love it. Both of us do. Near Whitehall, I'm Josh Margolis for NBC Montana.